Hello, and welcome to the HTCP training session for the Super Air Meter. This video will guide you through how to operate the SAM and some basics about the SAM. My name is Mark Fennell, and I will be your guide today. Before starting the SAM test, the gauge must be zeroed. To do this, press and hold the menu button for three seconds. This will exit from any test program and the gauge will flash abort. Once it stops flashing abort, press and hold the zero button for three seconds and then release. The gauge will display zero after it is released. The SAM gauge has a menu system for ease of use. Press and hold the menu button for three seconds. The gauge will start flashing text depending on your previous entry. Use the arrow keys to navigate through different parts of the menu. Cycle through the menu until the gauge starts flashing test. Press enter to gain access to the test menu. The test menu contains the type B test and the SAM test. Use the arrow keys to cycle to the SAM test and press enter. Before running the SAM test, we must check the meter for leaks first. Start by pressurizing the top chamber between 45 and 45.5 psi. Use the needle valve or the shredder valve to release pressure. Wait 5 to 10 seconds for the pressure to stabilize. Once stable, record the initial pressure and start a five minute timer. After five minutes have passed, record the final pressure and subtract it from the initial pressure. If the difference between the pressures is greater than 0.12 PSI, there is a leak in the top chamber and needs to be addressed. Now the SAM is ready to test concrete. First, the SAM bowl needs to be filled with concrete and consolidated. Follow the rotting method in Ashto T121 to consolidate concrete in the SAM bowl. Rotting is the only method allowed to consolidate the SAM. Do not use internal vibration to consolidate the meter. After striking off the excess concrete, it is time to clean the SAM bowl. Clean the lip where the clamps latch onto and clean the top of the rim. To clean the top rim efficiently, take the edge of your sponge and make a small shallow indentation around the circumference of the bowl. This indentation can be one and a half inches wide and sixteenth of an inch deep. After that, remove any excess sand grains from the rim with your thumb. The rim should be smooth to the touch when you're done. Now it is time to prep the sand lid. To do this, take a wet sponge and get the o-ring damp. After dampening the o-ring, use the sponge to dampen the rest of the surface. Next, take the sand lid and carefully lower the lid onto the sand bowl. Line the petcocks up with the handles of the bowl. Clamp the sand lid to the bowl by engaging the clamps opposite to each other to form a proper seal. Make sure all six clamps are engaged. Now, take a squeeze bottle with water and fill the SAM with water. Keep adding water and tilt the meter to remove excess air bubbles. The alternative method for filling the SAM is the use of the funnel. Take the funnel and screw it into the petcock assembly. Close one of the petcocks and fill the funnel up with water. Open the petcock up to allow a steady flow of water. Tilt the meter to aid removing excess air bubbles. Make sure to maintain a steady flow rate while tipping.
When the flow rate goes down, close the petcock and add more water to the funnel. It typically takes two to three filling sessions to remove excess air. Close both petcocks after filling. After the filling step, press enter on the gauge to begin the SAMP test and make sure both petcocks are closed. Pressurize the top chamber until you are close to the first pressure step. Use the needle valve to remove large amounts of pressure. You can also use the Schrader valve to remove small amounts of pressure. Once you get to the first pressure step, press the enter button. The gauge will read the current pressure and determine if it is stable, too high, or too low. After the gauge reads OK, hold the lever down and strike the side of the bowl once and then press enter again to start the 10 second countdown. During this 10 second countdown, keep holding the lever down and strike around the sand bowl smartly. Keep striking until the countdown ends. Keep holding the lever down until the gauge reads OK. Record the equilibrium pressure from the gauge. Press enter on the gauge to view the air content. Record the air content when it is viewed. Then press enter to continue. The gauge allows you to be within plus or minus 0.05 PSI from the current pressure step. The gauge will flash either low or high. Take the necessary corrective action. Repeat this process and follow the gauge's instructions for the 30 PSI and 45 PSI pressure steps. Record each of the equilibrium pressures at those steps. After finishing the 45 PSI pressure step, the gauge will read Purge and Rerun. Open the pet cock while covering the opening with your hand. This will prevent water from spraying any bystanders. Open the needle valve and bleed the pressure until it reads close to 14.5 PSI. This will save you time during the test. Repeat the filling procedure as previously discussed. Repeat the pressurization steps as previously discussed. Do this process for the 14.5, 30, and 45 PSI pressure steps. Record the equilibrium pressures for each step and follow the instructions on the gauge. After finishing the final 45 PSI pressure step, the gauge will read, press enter to view SAM. Press enter to view the SAM number. Record the SAM number when it's displayed. Thank you for watching this video. You can always practice using the SAM on water. The procedure is no different than using concrete. If you need to brush up on the SAM, refer to this video or the HTCP PCC Tech 1 manual.